All right, check this out. So you'll be on your knees, and you'll be sitting like this. And basically what happens is like, spin around behind my back. Like, like sit on your knees, get behind me. Yeah, and like body lock my waist. Great, do that again. Of course you want that, right? Right? So when you start going for that, what do people do? Go for it? They're like, no. Right? So if I stop moving and you get behind me, you're like, yes. And then I make it so that you grab over my arms. Okay? I don't want him to grab underneath me. Although there's there's moves I can do if they grab underneath me. I'll, I'll, like, I'll like do this and force us into this like sideways position where he kind of has my back, but he doesn't have the hooks. Okay, what I'm looking for, basically, like stay right here, is like um, lock hands over my arms, is I'm looking for, I'm looking for this. I'm looking for an arm drag when he's behind me. Okay, because now I can do that same thing if I, if I go from my butt and I scoop myself here, it's very minimal to get them to fall like that. Okay, so I get it to happen a lot when I'm like here and dudes start going like taking an angle on me and I let it happen and I'm like, here, get behind me, look it, out the back door, for example, okay? I'll be like here and I'm like, here, 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 look it. I'll start raising this up, look, they'll stick their hand back there, right? Because they don't want me, if you put your hand up, I can go out the back door. Dig that wizard, I can't go out the back door anymore, but what can I do? I'm telling you, dude. This makes people hate you and laugh too at the same time. They're like, no way, dog, I got your back. No, I thought I had your back. It's like, keep this here. Let them go around, let them go around. Hmm, he tucked his hand, okay? That's why they tuck their hand is because, untuck the hand, the first attack you try is to, to, to raise the hand and go out the back door. They'll catch on to that. They're like, dude, wizard, and if you don't do anything, this will like bring you down, okay? Let's look at the whole thing again. I'm here. I connect this here and I let him like get an angle on me. That happens right there. I start raising this up. Okay. If I go, okay, I'm gonna throw him and he peels back. Cut that corner. Okay, so you could do it like right here, like sit on your butt. Okay, now reach back for an arm drag here. Like this. Now, Go stomach flat this way. The other way, my bad. Kick your legs that way and go straight to your stomach. Later. Boom. Right. Sit on your butt like, like this. Yeah, like um, stick that hand back behind you. Like post on it. Yes, like this. They're gonna be like. Raise it up, raise it up like you go out the back door and they go, no, they try to pull you down. You see what I'm saying? Later. Right? It's so cool, dude. You don't have to like hide your back from people. Do it again, sit on your butt. Face me here. Good. Yep. If they start coming around this angle, it's okay too. Just switch it up on them. Look at the arm drag right there. Do you see it? All right? Keep it like here. If anything, roll this way. Well, that way they'll go, no, no, no. They're turning you, go ahead, take that corner. Yes, yes, good. Sit right here, back to the camera. On your butt. Good, if they go around from here, you're supposed to be like that, right? So wait for it, wait for it, because I'll get to you. They'll be like. <laughs> okay, now raise it up high, raise your elbow up high. They'll go, no. Now's your chance, go stomach down. Flat, go flat, 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 flat. Boom. Okay, so a little, a little, I guess drill you can do to get good at this is you sit on your butt and every partner sit on their knees right behind you. Okay, now from here, position yourself with an arm drag. Okay, just like this. And now it's like, take your legs and go flat right next to them here. And tell me you can't toss them over you. You know what I'm saying? They might like like step your knee over me like a mount. Even this still has results. Even that can still get it, the job done. Okay, so try that a few times. Sit here, have your partner behind you. I, I can do it a number of ways. I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm sitting on my knees, I'll do the same thing. Like, like um, you know how this is happening too? 
I was rolling with somebody. I let them get behind me and they tried to like police lock me. You know, they're like lock hands like this. They try to do this to me, right? People do this to you all the time, especially people that don't know jujitsu, dog. Like people like even blue and purple belts that aren't good, they know they shouldn't do this, but they'll do it to you. And this is what I did to the person. I let them get behind me and I was like, what are you gonna do? And they did that. And I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's just so awesome. It's just hard to tell you like, to count on the fact that people suck and will do dumb things. They will, right? Is I'll be here in front of them. I'll be like, oh, go behind me, go behind me like this. And they'll police lock me like that, right? And this is my chance to like, I pull this one and I limp arm the other. That's a thing like, lock, like hold me, like sit on your knees and do it, right? Is learn how to like, limp arm, limp arm out of that shit. Do it again. Right, do it again. It's not just like, <clears throat> You know, like hold it a little tight. People try to do this. They go, Whoa! it's like, dog, what are you doing? You don't know. I don't blame you. I shouldn't get mad at you. Hold it a little tight. You gotta like, okay. So with one side, you do that. Lock me up again. With one side, you limp arm and the other side's an arm drag left. And then I'll even like, and then it's like, you see how useful that is? It'll help you use it transitionally off the guard pass. You'll catch it in positions when people try to grab onto you. Okay, like I often do it here in side mount where I sit up, I'll be like, hey, here I am. Here's my back, grab onto it. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, can I get this here? Can I arm drag and throw? Have I gotten my back taken? Yeah. But I'm also really good at like knowing when to let go of things and block hooks. You know, I'm not afraid of people getting behind me. I'm afraid of them putting in the hooks and rear naked choking me. Okay, so just because you're behind me doesn't mean you have those two other things. You know, and I think people like irrationally fear other people getting behind them, which I understand in Jiu Jitsu, you're not supposed to do it. But high level grappling, you wanna be good in every position, even like the bad ones. So I often put people behind me and see what kind of shit I can make up. I'm like, yes, block the important things, block the important things, but can I do something cool from here? Oftentimes it's no. This dude's so good. No, that was a dumb mistake, Jeff. But oftentimes it's yes, and it's super rewarding and it's fun. And you make up shit and you feel like, dude, I just did something that all the jujitsu guys in the world say isn't supposed to work. And I made that shit work and you feel good. And then you get sponsored by BJJ Fanatics. You open a school. All right, that's cool. I'm done talking. <laughs>